Well, um, in the run-up to the election, there were a lot of flaws in the process, and we kept drawing attention to them. And um, it's like the Electoral Commission was adamant to our call, but um, on election day, we, we saw exactly what happened. This is the most incompetent election we've had. I mean, everything about this election does not reach the standard that Ghana's Electoral Commission you know, uh, has attained for itself. Ghana's Electoral Commission is held in high esteem as one of the best electoral commissions. Unfortunately, this election, she can't even get the results right. The declaration is all over the place. Mr. President, I saw your press conference where you rejected the result. So with this rejection, what are you going to do to make your case to the people of Ghana? Since you said they voted for you, how are you going to convince them that you won the election? Well, um, we know we did, and um, we are currently doing a forensic audit of all the constituencies. Um, first, to establish what happened there, and then secondly, to reconfirm the figures that we have. Um, because this case might end up in court, I don't know. I cannot mention anything for now, but we're doing an audit. And based on that, um, we'll take whatever decision we need to take. But I think that the incompetence the EC has shown, you know, it will be useful for us to do a forensic audit of the EC zone systems and the numbers to come to what the final number for the EC is. Because as of now, I don't know what number they're going to get. Set. But Mr. President, what is your reaction to? the African Union poll observer mission that came out saying that the elections were transparent and credible and that most people were not prevented from voting. The ECOWAS poll observer mission led by Madame Johnson Sirleaf said the same thing, that it was peaceful and transparent. So what do you say to these prominent African organizations that monitored the poll, pretty much giving a stamp of approval to the elections? Um, they, normally, when you have an observer mission like that, you need to wait and see their final report because often they give the report up to the point of counting. And it's true, I mean, the whole day was peaceful. People went about, you know, um, voting without any uh, problems and uh, the queues were orderly. And so they'll say all that. And um, there were a few instances of people caught with pre-printed ballot sheets. I mean, the video evidence is there. Normally, the final report will capture the collation process. And so this report does not capture the collation process. And a lot went wrong with the collation process. Mr. President, four years ago, when you lost the election, you handed over peacefully. I was here in Accra when you held a news conference that you had called then opposition leader Nanado Danko Akufuado to concede. People are saying you have proven that you are a true Democrat. They said, why are you not doing the same thing now? In the interest of the more than 6 million people who voted for me, I must uphold our democracy and hold our Electoral Commission to higher standards and hold this government to a higher standard in terms of our democracy. I mean, the way they've conducted this election, the government, President Akufuado, and the Electoral Commission, is a dent to our democratic credentials as a, as a government. And so in my principles as a Democrat, I can't be seen to be sweeping it under the carpet and just letting it go. I think that we must bring closure to this by seeing exactly you know, where the issues are. And I mean, if an independent audit is done by the EC, uh, we bring somebody in to crunch the numbers, do an independent audit. If I lost, why not? I mean, I, I'll be the first to uh, concede and you know walk away but as long as that is not done and I know that there was a deliberate attempt to subvert the will of the people in favor of the incumbent it will be wrong for me in terms of our democratic processes to just leave it because we will not learn the lessons of this election I think that we must learn the lessons of this election so that we don't repeat it in a future one